Hi, Sixth Formers. Um, I've discovered a couple of things that are really helpful for when you're doing differentiation. Um, so I'd like to show you those on your calculator. So let's draw a graph. So I'm going to the graph menu and I'm just going to do a nice simple one. So I'm going to do x cubed. OK, um, right. Um, so I'm going to think about how we can do tangents and normals, but we're going to get the equation of the tangent, the equation of the normal as well. So if we just draw that, OK, and then I want to make sure my view window is good. Um, I'm going to choose a square view window because with and I'm going to keep the X values fixed because then it shows that the tangent's perpendicular to the normal. OK. Uh, right, let's draw. Um, so normally you go to the sketch menu and then you say you want the tangent. Let's have the tangent where X is 1. OK. Um, but if you do set up, so shift, shift and set up, OK, and you scroll down to where it says derivative, switch that derivative on, OK, and then when we do sketch and tangent and 1, if you press execute a second time, you can see at the bottom left corner of the graph, it gives you the equation of the tangent. So that means you can check that you have got the equation of the tangent correct if that's on your question. Let's look at the normal. So we go sketch and then F3 for normal and we'll do it at the same point. So one, execute and execute again. And it gives you that we've got minus a third X plus four thirds is the equation of the normal. And it looks nice and perpendicular here because I made sure my view window was square. All right, if you choose zoom, um, you can usually choose square from that as well. OK, right now, this next thing amazes me. Um, so if we exit and I would like the derivative of x cubed, I want to sketch the graph of that. Now, I know it's 3x squared, but let's just pretend I'm not sure and I want to check it. OK, so I'm going to do options and then calc. And I've got d by dx. And I can't be bothered to type in x cubed again because I'm being lazy. Imagine it's more complicated. So I choose f1 for y1. So you can see the top equation is y1. So I want to differentiate that equation. And rather than doing it just at one point, I'm going to put x in there. And it will do it for every value of x. So now the blue curve is the original x cubed and the red curve is the derivative of x cubed. Let's just try that for a more complicated function. So if I just change this one, um, I don't know, let's do x and then sine x. OK, I'm going to change. There we go. So we've got, um, let's go up a bit. So you can see x sine x is the blue graph and then the gradient function of that is the red graph which I think is pretty awesome.